In part one of this video, we began to take a look at order of operations with fractions, and we found we were following the same order, PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, as before. We just found it helpful to have a space for some chicken scratch to show our work on the side, because it was harder to do the operations in our head. So let's take a look at this problem and see if we can simplify it using the order of operations. There aren't really any parentheses, because we can't simplify five halves at all. So next, we'll move on to exponents. There is an exponent on the five halves. We haven't really talked about exponents on fractions. However, we recall that squaring something simply means multiplying it by itself twice. Five halves squared really means five halves times five halves. And we do know how to multiply fractions straight across. Five times five is twenty-five, and two times two is four. Rewriting the problem, we now have nine-tenths divided by twelve-fifths, plus, when we squared the five-halves, we ended up with twenty-five-fourths times one over thirty. Next, we move on to multiplication and division, which must be done from left to right. Left to right means we're going to do the division first, nine-tenths divided by twelve-fifths. We remember that the way we divide with fractions is to multiply by the reciprocal. We're really doing nine-tenths times five-twelfths. Doing some reducing, ten and five are divisible by five once and twice, and the nine and twelve are both divisible by three, three and four times. Multiplying across, three times one is three, and two times four is eight. The division part of this problem reduces to three-eighths, plus twenty-five-fourths, times one over thirty. Still on this multiplication and division step, moving left to right, we're going to multiply next the twenty-five-fourths times the one over thirty. We can do some reducing by dividing five out of the first diagonal. Twenty-five divided by five is five, and thirty divided by five is six. We can then multiply straight across, five times one is five, over four times six is twenty-four. The problem now reads three-eighths plus five twenty-fourths. We are now ready for the last step of the order of operations, which is to add and subtract. We recall that the pattern for adding and subtracting with fractions requires us to find a common denominator. We can quickly see, using mental math, that the common denominator of eight and twenty-four is simply twenty-four. The eight, then, needs to be multiplied by three over three, which will give us nine twenty-fourths, whoops, twenty-fourths, plus the five twenty-fourths already has the denominator we want, which equals fourteen over twenty-four. With addition, we always reduce at the end, reducing fourteen over twenty-four, both are divisible by two, gives us seven twelfths for our final solution. We see that using order of operations with fractions works under the exact same pattern that we followed with order of operations with regular integers. The only catch is now, it might be helpful to have some scratch paper along the way as we do our calculations, remembering to multiply fractions straight across, divide fractions by multiplying by the reciprocal, and we add and subtract fractions by getting a common denominator and keeping the denominator.